Hello, my name is Christian Morales, and I will be talking about how to do gas stripping in a packed call. My group, which consists of Catherine Howe, Paul Darnell, Malika Barada, and myself, conducted this experiment in the semester of spring 2020, and I will explain how it is done. In this experiment, we will explore the concepts of mass transfer between the liquid and vapor phase, flooding in a packed column, empirical straggle correlation, and height of a transfer unit and a number of transfer units. The chemicals used in this experiment are ammonia and sodium hydroxide. Ammonia is corrosive and an acute toxic. Do not inhale in ammonia as it presents inhalation hazards. Sodium hydroxide, according to the NFPA diamond, may cause serious or permanent health injury and can become unstable at elevated temperatures and pressures. Be very cautious when handling these compounds and make sure proper personal protective equipment is worn at all times. As for the process itself, deadheading, pipe rupture, or cavitation may occur if the proper precautions are not taken for the experiment. Here the equipment used in the lab experiment are shown. The experiment utilizes a 40 inch packed column with 1 4 inch ceramic interlock saddles. The flow meters indicate the volumetric flow rates you are working with. Here the equipment with the piping structure is shown. Valve 1 is used for sampling the flow coming out of the column and valve 2 is used for sampling the flow coming into the column. Valve 2 is also used for bleeding as to not allow flooding within the packed column. Here a simplified diagram of the process is shown with the vapor and liquid flow rates going in and out of the column. Before starting the experiment, ensure that the gas outlet tube is placed in the fume hood. Make sure valves are open and flow meters are turned on. Turn on the compressor and pump to allow air flow through. After starting the experiment, make sure to bleed the flow every 6 minutes with valve 2. Wait until steady state is reached and then collect samples from the purge streams for inflow and outflow. First part of the experiment is to determine the mass transfer rate. Adjust the liquid flow rate to 0.05 gallons per minute and the air flow rate to 2.0 cubic feet per minute. Once again, make sure to bleed the tank every 6 minutes to prevent flooding. Once steady state is reached, collect samples using valve 1 and valve 2 to get inlet and outlet flow solutions. Next, the concentration will be measured of the collected samples. This will be done by measuring and recording the concentration in the hood, analyzing the liquid sample with an electrode, and recording its concentration. Beware of unit conversions and be gentle with the membrane. Lastly, flooding conditions will be recorded. First, set the liquid flow rate to 0.1 gallons per minute, then increase the air flow rate. Watch for a rising liquid meniscus and for air bubbles forming in the liquid pool within the column. Record the air flow rate when these two behaviors have been observed. With that done, the experiment is concluded and results may be analyzed. A special thanks to Graham Strauss and Dr. Pettit for administering the experiment with the lab. That concludes our presentation and thank you for watching.